of. I always like that one. All right. Whenever we get a subscriber, we should throw that out there for sub hype. All right. And as they're debating stages here, we're going to soon to be hopping right into it. Town and City starting off. Alright, so this will be, uh, let's get those uh, names changed pretty soon. I'm not sure if Moosh is doing anything, but he should be fixing that up pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, it'll be Blues Charizard versus Blaziguses Diddy Kong. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say that uh, uh, Blaziguses has great control of the neutral in the air as well with Blaziguses, but. Uh, if anybody can edge it around, especially with Charizard, uh, lose control the neutral with Charizard as well is pretty amazing. Yeah, you can, and here in this matchup with uh, Diddy Kong versus Charizard, on paper, this is terrible for Charizard. You know, in general though, you know, you're gonna have to, you know, pull out all the stops here. And it's not just- Oh, oh the reverse! The reverse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> rest in spaghetti, man, never forgetting. But yo, uh, Blaziken, uh, actually, no one would have really seen that coming, but uh, Blue definitely plays a lot of ditties uh, at high level. With you, when you get to be uh, as good as you are, uh, and you're in the Leap of Faith house with so much talent, you're going to be exposed to a lot of different play styles exactly. and some top-level uh, play from... Uh, you know, rank, world, nationally ranked uh, players here, mm -hmm. and uh, I guarantee you, Blue has not had any lack of Diddy uh, matchup experience, and so uh, Blazik is definitely going to have to, you know, do something a little bit different and uh, be very, very careful. Mm -hmm. And even though uh, Blazikus is still trying to keep the pressure on, he is finding a little bit hard to kill, but he is steadily racking up damage for it. Right, and even though he is racking up a good amount of damage, in trying to be hyper aggressive here, unfortunately he is taking a tremendous amount of oh, damage. Wow, and getting punished very, very hard for yeah, it. Yeah, especially with that rage on Charizard. That was no question that was going to take. Yeah, definitely. He probably needed to fall back just a little bit. And shout out to FDMD in the chat. What up, young boy? Yo. All right. So, what do you think, Blaze? Uh, like you said. Um, uh, that's a definite option he can do. He can be a little bit more aggressive and a little more uh, picky when he's going to move in to uh, aggress yeah. Charizard. Well, this is going to have to be like calculated aggression here. For Blaziken to pretty much overwhelm Charizard, mm -hmm. you can't really only rely on banana confirms because that's basically like a two-piece. If I throw my right and then I throw my straight, if I got nothing following up after that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> See, you shout out somebody in the chat and then they act brand new. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, boy. Get that man blocked. <laughs> If we have we have the power back here. Oh, we have we a mouse. Surely do. Yeah, we surely can. <laughs> Mute that man. <laughs> Mute that man. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the matchup here, we're gonna run right into game two, and uh, we're gonna have Blaziken gonna stick with his tried and true Diddy Kong mm -hmm. and uh, go up against Blue. Now, what I want to see here in this match, I probably want to see him poke at Charizard's shield more, but probably try to like elicit Charizard to get. Grab happy, you know what I mean, and then just punish him in, in terms of speed. Right, but do you think the poking of the shield? Do you think he would be better just grabbing Charizard outright instead well, of just absolutely? The but um, with Charizard throwing flamethrower, it just seems like he's stopping Blaziken's forward, uh, you know, his forward approach. So he's gonna have to resort to either you know doing something to his shield or at the very least, you know, making him unsafe. And since Blue is pretty much staying in shield and just punishing all of his approaches, he's, he's going to have to do something. So, okay. And that something here is going to have to stop him from allowing him to be very effective in his turtle-esque style. Almost had the read on the- Ooh, and the reverse! reverse Let's go! Reverse, reverse! Yo, that's my boy right there, yo. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm proud of you, son. You're done, you're done good. More alliance, but he is just taking names when it counts. Oh my gosh. And shout outs to Blue. That's my man's too, but he returned him with the first stock. Can, mm. If we can get that that uh that young two stock, I'm gonna be proud of him. And Blazik is making the adjustments from game one. Probably should have landed a dash grab there, but it's all gravy. No yep. worries. Alright. But LOF Blue staying in this game, letting him know, alright, cool. You know, you wanna, you, know, you got something, I see you, I respect you. Right. No, don't get reversed though. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Yeah, <sighs> don't challenge Charizard when you're low because that up B will definitely send him through. So he's gotta be more of an angle in order to get that spike. Yeah, these guys just throwing caution to the wind here for uh, edge guard situation. And we're gonna get that monkey flip. Ooh, better be careful here. Mix up your recovery. Always gotta do that to stay fresh and neutral. I'm seeing here, he is pressuring the shield, but most of the time it is landing on a little bit of hot water. Ugh. And the, uh, 
the panic uh, side B here, not going to be your friend. Going to need to be very careful. With Charizard just watching his recovery, he's got to take his time. And then even in taking his time, he's just he's baiting out his uh, responses here. So can't get gimped. That's the first thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. And a good wait on that charge because otherwise he was going to eat that down smash two frame. Right. And Blue just doing exactly what he All knows. All the explosion. Okay. Ooh. Jetpack that... almost bringing it back for a Blaziken. Yeah, and even if it didn't kill, that would have uh, uh, it had the option for giving him back on stage and had stage control a little bit. But yeah, he's he's on now, so he can. Let's see if he can turn this around. Oh, Blaziken is oh, getting a wow. little antsy here on Duck Hunt, and the one thing you can't do is is give Charizard too much momentum. And at the very same time, you gotta be careful, mainly because Charizard does not have the Z axis any longer. Right. So with the Z axis gone, it makes all of his moves that much more strict. And there we go. That's gonna be it. It's all she wrote, wow. man. He probably should have just grabbed, but it's all gravy. He played that match. Very well. Yeah, I saw that Blaziguis was, like you said, he was getting a little too antsy, and he was trying to uh, reverse edge guard him, but once you missed that, it just led Blue to be more in control on stage, and that right. sort of led to the downfall.